This garden sketchbook begins on the 7th of July. I'm hugely lucky to have blue hydrangeas that dip down into the tiny river that runs through the garden. The beautiful demoiselles and the gold ring dragonflies adore this spot. And they spend their summers dancing in the dappled light. Of all the meadow sweets I grow, this giant pink one is probably my favourite. There are willows at the far north boundary of the garden and they make a lovely backdrop for the flowers. Although this is a valley garden, there are areas with bright sunshine where these flowers thrive. Fortunately, Crocosmia lucifer does well on the edge of the shadows. These are all tree lilies and year by year they get taller and richer. I have clumps of crinum all the way through the garden. Buddleias truly are the flower to attract butterflies. Woodwardia radicans, like almost all ferns, finds this the absolutely perfect spot to be. High humidity, lots of shadow, enough moisture. And the hardy banana does just as well. Hydrangea aspera with its velvet leaves and its fantastic filament stamens of blue is truly a favourite of mine and the butterflies and the bees. I do grow a lot of plants in pots. This is a serious frost pocket even though it's near the land's end and so there are many plants I just have to bring it into the conservatory or the greenhouse for winter. The cardabies absolutely adore the fuchsias. And this is the last page of the fifth of the garden sketchbooks.